homologous chromosomes, let's talk about them. The prefix homo means the same. Okay? Homologous chromosomes are found in diploid, L O I D to D, diploid cells. You have two copies of each chromosome one from your mom, one from your dad. Okay? That makes sense. Now, let's look at a definition of all of the different structures that are found on homologous chromosomes. Remember, genotype has to do with the different alleles that are found on homologous chromosomes. What are some examples of genotypes? Remember, homozygous dominant. Okay? This individual here is homozygous dominant for the A allele. Another type of genotype is homozygous recessive. This person here is homozygous recessive for the B allele. And you can also have heterozygous. This person is heterozygous for the D allele. Okay? Remember, we get half of our chromosomes from our mom and half of our chromosomes from our dad. Because they're homologous chromosomes, they have the same genes, but they could have different alleles. Okay? Remember, phenotype is the physical characteristic, pH for physical. Okay? Centromeres will hold sister chromatids together. Remember that an allele is a different version or different form of a gene. Remember what a gene is? Let me move this. Uh, I'll put it there. A gene is a segment of DNA that codes for a protein. And alleles are different forms of genes. So here we have the dominant allele and the recessive allele. When somebody is a carrier, when an individual is a carrier, that means they're heterozygous for a recessive disease-causing allele. So when, in this situation, this individual is heterozygous. And when people are heterozygous, they're also carriers. You don't have to know this term, gene loci. Loci, just for your own knowledge, means location. Oops. Heterozygous, talk about that. Codominant, okay, we talk about codominance. Homozygous recessive, homozygous dominant. Right? That's it.